Right, so obviously DIDs, uh, that, that's very good on the enterprise side. I think one thing that people are missing is that Elasos is a very good enterprise grade public blockchain. Um, with our connection to Bitcoin and the security that comes from that, that mm -hmm. we can really claim to be an Ethereum based, at least for our Ethereum sidechain, if, if enterprises are looking for uh, a well-rounded platform to build on that has a very secure foundation. We have that Bitcoin merge mining thing. I, I always try to push that theme that we have over 50% Bitcoin's hash rate. People don't know that we have, a lot of people don't even know that we have that much hash rate. It's like 50%. Um, if you look at the cost to attack for blockchains, um, Ethereum right now costs $400,000 per hour to attack. You could rent, if you could rent that hash rate, it costs you $400,000. You could actually cause a 51% attack on Ethereum. For Lassos, it's 450K, so it's higher than Ethereum, right? And Ethereum is bogged down by all these dApps running. So you're like, well, if, if more security on Lassos, plus um, we, we have side chains, so we can probably scale it out further too. I mean, of course, Ethereum 2.0 comes around, so maybe we'll leave that for the next question. But um, at the moment, if you look at the comparison, we do have a pretty good argument to the enterprise space. It's just that, I mean, we do have to rally behind uh, maybe CR regions could go after that space, uh, you know, down the road, or some other team could take over. But on the BD front, we definitely do need a BD team. I mean, enterprise engagement is not not an easy thing, right? We we need someone to a proper team with educated, uh, well connected people to actually reach out and um, go after these enterprises and say, hey, here's a solution. Um, and that's a public blockchain solution. Of course, it's very, uh, you know, elaborate space to get into. I mean, we're, we're talking. There's an ecosystem of Hyperledger, which is a private blockchain. So a lot of them do private blockchains. If you look at Mayer, Skin, these guys, and Walmart, they are using private blockchains. You're seeing that trend in supply chain, um, for example, moving into the private blockchains. It's just inevitable because at the end of the day, that they weigh the public private arguments, and private usually wins out. I don't really need to know where my package is exactly and what temperature it's sitting at, right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I might need to know, and I'll trust the private blockchain because there's no other beneficiary to be malicious about it.